Okay, into the oasis. I doubt it's going to be that easy to find the city. Are we almost there? What's with the face? We have a small problem. Now what? The enclave must be on high alert or something. It seems the mirage has been activated. What is this, the mirage? It's a failsafe that turns the mirage oasis into a labyrinth of sorts. Do you mean like a maze? That literally means the exact same thing, Trish. Duh, I just wanted to chime in. Of course he did. So how do we get through it? I've actually never had to before. So... I have no idea. Standing around won't help. I guess we just start exploring and hope for the best. I suppose we don't have any other choice. It's all done. Let's get ourselves lost in a magical desert and hope we don't die. Sounds... great. Here goes nothing. Okay good, there's no drop mechanic, but... I am completely freaking lost. A cactus! And they have... They have started scaling to my level. Great. Let's see if I can slow down one of these and then work on them one at a time. Yes, that's probably for the best. Why well, even strike on someone? Yeah, they're not going down easily. Shield smite! Oh shoot! You wait, that, that's the same type of move that Damien has! What? They can't do that! Only I can have white magic! Uh, curses. Rampage. Okay. Anyone need Aqua Chi right now? No. Wind. Mastery. Shatter armor. Poison. Metastasis. Okay. Blood burst. Almost dead. Ow. Okay, cure you, Trish. Divine Aegis. Mass Prayer. Smite the Cactus. Shield Smite. I guess it's like Smite, but it works on her... It destroys shields completely, huh? Eliminate you before you even get a move. Aha! Now I shall shadow slice you.
Diane Tantra Winchy Another Winchy Dark Orb Oh, I almost like crashed there. Fire weave robes of wisdom. Is that better than anything I have? Eh, not really. But how do I tell which direction is the correct one? What's all the way they're shining? Arg! It's really hard to see the gr the treasures in this screen. They're supposed to be shiny, but it's so bright. Ah, curses! This is a dead end, but it has treasure. That means it is not it is worth going into. Essence brace. Ugh! It's really hard to see these curses. I'm no. I might. Fail to get the achievement, no matter how hard I try. Defense hit point crit chance. Eh, meh. I'll pass. Back to this room. I'm glad it's not looping or anything like that. Right now, it's just a bunch of dead ends that I can loot stuff from, which is exactly what I wanted. Purple grapes. Okay, any more shinies? I hope not. Ah. Okay, let's just go forward. Another shiny. Ah. I am the shiny stealer. Left or right? Oh shoot. Is this the entrance? Whoa! That's a lot of hit points. Hmm. Berserker stance. Wound. Diane Tantra. I need to stack stuff on you. Mastery. Shatter. And poison. Okay, which one should I use next? Blood Burst. Spirit Power. We need a little bit more TP here. Find Aegis. Mass Prayer. Holy fire, get that DOT on there. Ah, burning fang. Why are you targeting one person? Okay. Hunter Mark. Barrage, that takes all my TP. Body slam. Shadow slice.
Oh shoot, car outside. Anyway, so you can apply flaming chi. I also want to use Aqua Chi on Ryu, though, real quick. Let's see, Wind Chi. Alright, we're using that stasis, so... Dark Blast. Let's see, Purify, Luna. Heal up Luna a bit. Alright, I will smite you. Burning Fang. Ah! Why well, strike to build up my TP a bit? Ah! God damn, this this one's really tough. Okay, obliterate. Somebody over an ass weapon? You know, I should really save the Berserker Aura until after Obliterate is ready. That's probably the best way to make use of it, since it doesn't actually last all that long. That way I can be sure it put, it, it'll work. Hmm. Honestly, I'm really lost right now. I think that I already I think the desert is actually starting to loop right now. This could be bad. Darkness falls. Overcharged. Ultima, even though it's overkill. Marksman Bow of Venom, Elder Staff of TV Charging, Diamond! Oh no, this is a different place! i never seen... I never got that item there before. Damn, I, I'm taking some damage here. Yeah, not good enough. Other stuff of TP charging, is that any good? Eh. Look at TP boost rate, but I don't. Eh. Okay, so, um. South? Yes, a new room. Be right back. Pouch of gold. Another pouch of gold. I don't see any more shinies in this room. Hope I can at least get that achievement. Hmm. Did I get anything useful out of that? Oh, this one looks okay. Works with both shock, no good. Yep, keep going. Let's see. I came in from that side. Ah! Be right back. Okay, what's to the left? Treasure!
Okay, grab these treasures for completion's sake. Have I even gotten close to the achievement yet? I just need 15 more. Hopefully these are not the last 15 treasures of the game. Okay, upwards. I better save first because never know if there's going to be a boss that's waiting to jump me at the worst time possible. Usually they make it pretty obvious, but still. Oh, I have not saved since the overworld. That is a bl huge blunder on my part. Still. Gold. Uh. What? I may want to go back to that dead end from before, when the old forks from before. Ah, invigorating relic. Holy shit, how far are you chasing me? Hmm. Yeah, this could work, I guess. Or should I put... Will we burn you? Yes, yeah, so I'll give you more... A little bit more spirit, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll... Uh... No, this way you're told... Yeah, you know, I think Damien needs it more because his total power is a lot lower for some reason. You don't see me! Yeah, I'm gonna go explore an older fork, be right back. Yeah, so the fork I missed is right here. Still some treasures I have not picked up yet. I'll go kill an enemy real quick. Be right back. Okay, I'm really going to TP for her. Shit. Essence Brace. Is this better than anyone's cur current Essence Brace? Wait, who who's even still using it? You? Eh. I'll pass up on that. I better get back to that fork I was at before. Okay, what's up here? Ooh, shiny. Purple grape. Um, if I want to get that shiny, I'm gonna have to kill you, huh? Or not. Evade it. Seriously, this is getting really long. Very safe just in case that bottom path is a trap of some sort. Saving really takes a long time in this game, doesn't it? Probably because of all the random items. God damn it! All these forks are starting to look the same, even though they are clearly different. Why was that bed in the wall? Three paths. Th this path looks the most suspicious. Uh, water. It's a dead end, but so I guess it's good. More treasure. I should be getting close to the achievement soon, assuming that there's still room for error. Essence Brace. Ah, be right back. Have I been to the bottom yet? No. Yes, I got the Treasure Hunter trophy, even though I didn't get every treasure in the game. That's proof that there is a s uh, that there is some wiggle room. It'd be kind of unreasonable to expect people to find everything in the game, after all. Or uh, forge a better accessory for her later, or get it from the casino or something. I think of something for Minerva. Okay, with that, I should head north. Assuming I don't get pwned by an enemy on the way up. There's still more! And what the heck is that with that rock that's smoking? Save. Oh, I almost reached a hundred battles.
What a strange rock. That's not good. Still more paths I have to worry about, huh? As usual, north, southeast, west. I came from the south, so let's go east. There's still more smoking rocks. Okay, I'm starting to think that this this is the correct way to go, given how big it is. Yeah, let's go back to the previous forks. I am just dodging everything. I could spend money to run from battle, but still. More of these strange rocks. Another invigorating relic. Let's see. Ryudo, could you possibly use this relic? Oh, I got an overpowering relic, probably from that treasure hunter thing. But it's mostly for magic, so it might not be as good for him. None of these are very... Ugh. This overpowering relic is better for a mage type, isn't it? You... This one is best put on Trish. Okay, there's the rune essence, and with that, I really. What is this rock? Seriously. This is bad. Why is there a wounded person there? Is this a side quest? Or is this a hermit of the desert that they were talking about in that one trophy? It's a quest! She's... dead. Luna knows there's a small piece of paper in the dead person's hand. Found a mysterious letter. Okay. What does it say? This letter is addressed to somebody named Troy. Troy. I was foolish not to have given you a chance. I was so afraid of what everybody would think of me. I was so caught up in what they wanted, but didn't stop to think about what my heart was saying all along. If by some miracle they spelled it wrong, this letter finds its way to you, I just want you to know that I'm sorry. I love you. Gwen. She must have been come looking for his Troy guy and gotten lost in the oasis. How terrible. What's even sadder is that she spelled miracle wrong. Oh, that was on- uh... Trish. Seriously? I mean, come on. It's a pretty simple word to spell. Have some respect. She's dead. Yeah, yeah. Why would she have come this way? Do you think this Troy fellow lives in the Enclave? There's only one way to find out. Oh good, I don't have to backtrack. Let's hold on to the lair and see if we run to him. This is a dead end, so I just need to keep going to the non-dead end at the east. Uh, to the east. Yes. And there's nothing in this wall here for some reason. Seriously, you should. If you're gonna have this kind of, uh, uh, if you're not gonna let us pass the east here, you should at least put up a wall completely, just to indicate that it's completely unpassable. Or at least we have no idea what's blocking our way. Oh no. Ah! Okay, next area. Pouch of gold. I still don't- I, I'm still really worried about those smoking rocks. So much of- uh, uh, It's just so scary. Is there some trick to it? Do I have to punch them in a certain order for the path to open? Is that it? Or maybe it's all the rocks will unite into one big smoking golem. It 
So this is the path here, I guess. Eat! Please tell me we're finally here! Yes, we finally made it! Would you like to do the incantation, Minerva? Sure thing! Here goes nothing! Salam, Giris. Akmak Sahis Talmesk. Bukan Doidol Elasan. I hope the bad guys weren't following us. That would suck. Irit Ozonu Malatini. That was perfectly executed. Good job. Thank you. Alright, let's go see your father. I'm sure he's worried sick about you. About time we got out of this desert. I probably saw something in that uh, shining over there. But seriously, what if we get- uh, what if this is a trap? What if- what if the, those Imperials are following us waiting for us to open the path for them so they don't have as much work to do? Ugh, save in a separate slot. Actually, before I go in, maybe I should make sure Minerva has a better accessory if possible. Let me try to make some more red gear. Hmm. You have new stuff! Hey, I'm glad you're here! I added some new stuff to my stock. You should check it out. Glyph of Destruction? What the heck is that? Let's see... Boost all damage... Okay, glass cannon. Yikes. Anyone want to use this? I could probably afford to put it on Ryudo, of all people, but I think I already have one for increasing his... Hmm... What should I do here? Okay, I think we can go in. All of the Supremes, but Azale is one of the Supremes, so is this all right? Father! Oh, we were- she was acting as our party leader temporarily. Heh. <laughs> My sweet Minerva! I'm so glad you all made here in one piece. It was all thanks to these amazing people. Luna, Damien, the rest of you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Don't mention it. It was our pleasure. What about that spirit mage that was accompanying you? Don't tell me he died on the way. We're just happy we got to her right on time. Things got a little tense over in that tower. Just as they did over in Surox Village. We can talk about that some other time. I think we can all use some time to reflect and gather our thoughts and feelings. On another note, the Supremes are currently in the middle of a ceremony. They are all very they are very eager to meet you all. The Supremes, but one of them is an enemy. Why don't you all go explore this wonderful place in the meantime? There are a lot of neat places to see around here. That sounds like a great idea. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. I think I'm going to stay here with my father. You guys go on without me. Totally understandable, Minerva. Shall we? Yes. Just come find us if you need anything, okay? For sure, thank you. I better use a separate slot. I don't like how Minerva's not in my party. Something feels different about you. It's worse than you might think, Father. Take your time, my dear. You've been through a lot. Thank you. Why are there so many robots? Unclave was put in lockdown due to the appearance of humans within the Mirage Oasis. So many teleports. Ah, oh, it's confusing. Magi Spirit Jiruno, welcome to the Enclave. Heard a lot about you from Elder Jibo, so you're most definitely a welcomed guest in our sanctuary. You have quite the assortment of Magi traveling with you. 
Perhaps it's one of those silly things that humans play. The, um, oh right, one of those RPG thingies. What the heck is this shop? Magic Research? What? Welcome to the Magic Research Center. Okay... I'm compiling a list of all the currently no uh, known magi who pr practice blood, black summoning, and forbidden magics. You m and I guess Minerva is on that list now. A lot of our researchers used to aid humans, yet they wage war on us as if we're the enemies. We were created to serve the Enclave. It's glad it's only a small pocket of humans to despise us. But, but that's a very powerful pocket. The Black Magic are not really much to worry about, according to the Supreme Council, but the others are on the watch list. Eh, but isn't it- but isn't Azale on the watch list too? Do the- Ah. Uh, uh, I'm physically blind, but with my magic and help of these scientists, Magi, I can see the world in a way most people can't. Instead of seeing the physical world, I can see the world in a spiritual way. Mommy says that my magic is an- a nom- Anomaly. Yeah, that's the word. Whenever I try to use magic, weird things happen. Like one time, I tried to make a ball levitate, but instead it turned to a brick. Huh. Strange, this panel makes me face north. Hello there, and welcome to the Magi Research Center. My name is Demetrius, and I am the head researcher for the center. Our focus here is to treat and cure magi who are born with defects. We also specialize in researching new methods of magical protect protection, such as the mirage you saw in the Oasis. We don't really have anything we need your help with at the moment, but rest assured, if someone comes up, we'll be sure to get a hold of you. Huh. The price there are no... But there wasn't a bossy 40 enclave. These robots look so ominous, too. Tavern? Mana infused whiskey? Yes, please. Super yummy mana infused whiskey coming right up. This better not be a story event. It's hard to tell. Oh no, I'm really gonna be like unable to walk in a straight line for the rest of this part. <laughs> That'd be pre a pretty crazy mechanic. Uh oh. She's gonna trip balls. Whoa! I feel weird. Oh no, I should have. I might have to reload. Lunar Party Game 150 AP. Uh. What? Tell me where it hurts. Magi can sometimes catch very awful sicknesses that humans have when they spend too much time around them. Orphan caught what the humans call syphilis, which apparently comes from dirty men and women who do sexual things. Uh. Right now, I still need to learn skills for Ryu, though. Need to max out his rampage. Do I have any AP scroll? No. Do. Oh boy, am I glad to see you! Oh, you're alive! Yori! I'm so glad to see you alive. What happened to you after you left the tower? I just, I just made it back to Starks Village to tell the Elder that you would all be catching up soon, and, now, and then out of nowhere, a bunch of Imperial soldiers showed up. That's not even the craziest part either. A few soldiers rushed into the Elder's home, and we fought them off. After I fought them off, and when we stepped outside, there were these men dressed in blood red robes who began to pop out of thin air. I knew, I knew those freaks had something to do with it. Their power was frightening. Within seconds, they had wiped out the entire village, soldiers and civilians alike. How did you manage to escape then? The Elder's home had a secret escape tunnel located underneath it that leads you midway between Surox Village and Piatro. I didn't want to take any chances, so when we got out of the tunnel, I channeled what was left of my powers to blockade it with some giant boulders off the nearby mountains. Well, that explains all the nonsense we had to go through to get to Piatro. I'm very sorry. I knew it that would hinder your progress once you got there was the only thing I could think of at the time. Hey, it's better than allowing those evil <laughs> Imperials to get into the Enclave. No, it's fine. You made the right call doing that. Anyways, once we got to Piacho, we waited around for as long as we could, and this young Magi, Miranda, showed up. 
We explained to her what had happened, and she promised to wait around for you all to show up and told me to get the Elder here, the Enclave to make sure he'd be safe. And well, the rest is history. And probably after hearing the Elder's story, they, they, they just went in lockdown mode. That's crazy. I can only imagine what would have happened to him had you not been there when the soldiers and the Blood Magi showed up. I wouldn't have been there for him if you had not come to save me first, so thank you again. If only I could have saved all three of you. Hey now, you did what you had to, and what other choice do you have? Don't link on, don't link on it too much, it'll only taint your spirits. Now if you don't mind, I'd like to get me some rest. I'm still terribly exhausted. Yeah, no problem Yuri. Rest up, and I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Luna. Hope that I can be of some help to you in the future. I owe you that much. I've heard rumors that even Blood Magi have the power to essentially heal people. We would never be allowed to practice that stuff here in the Enclave. Then how the hell is that guy a supreme? I'm mostly wondering why Magi need a clinic when we have White Magic Guy. Well, you see, sometimes there are certain ailments that White Magi aren't able to heal with magic, so we rely on other methods of treatment. Rumors that even Blood Magi have the power to essentially heal people, but we can't use that stuff. You know it sounds silly, but if you wish to use our services, please step around to the front of the counter. Policies and procedures. White Magi Joy! <laughs> I got it. Nurse Joy. Have you come here to volunteer too? Fire Spinner Lucy. I'm good. Which part of the map am I in now? The magic wind is placed to source time and space, and that's why you could see the other side of the enclave from here. I wonder if I could actually see myself standing here if I had good enough vision. If you step on this little platform, you'll be teleported to the other side. I should start talking to party members while I can, huh? But I don't know how to advance the story. Ugh, I'm confused. I'm... Ugh. Talk to me, Damien! Hey, Damien! Hi, Luna. Out of sure curiosity, that salt dive thing you did to Minerva, what's it like in there? Hmm. Well, to be honest, I've only ever done it a few times. It's been different every time I've done it, too. Minerva's, in particular, was by far the most traumatic I, that I've done. That girl is suffering. She went through a lot. I'm not surprised. If she were any normal person, she would have crumbled at the way of her suffering by now. She is very strong-willed. I could commend her for that. I'm just glad you were there to help her out. We would have been helpless without you. I'm glad I was there, too. Why do you ask, though? Well, ever since my run-in with Azale, I've been wor worried he did something to my soul. Do you feel any different? No. Well, other than that one new ability she got, when he visited me inside Piatro Casino, he gave me a gift before leaving. What sort of gift? He told me that all my fury, my anger, my hatred, my pain could be used to make me stronger. Do you want me to look into your soul to see what it looks like? A part of me does. I want to make sure that he didn't. That he didn't leave a part of himself in me. I don't sense anything within you, but if you want to be certain, I can do a soul dive and take a closer look. Will it hurt? Physically, no. But sometimes a soul dive can bring out other things that can cause pain. Like what? Forgotten memories. Emotional trauma. That sort of thing. I see. Do you still want me to do it? Yes. I have to know. Wait, we're actually doing this within a party conversation? Okay, Luna. Close your eyes. Okay, I'll probably have to play as Damien again. What? Are you kidding me? I did not expect a mini game to show up. can't even save. Luna, you have blocked off a lot of your emotions. No wonder I'm having such a hard time compared to last time. 
I'm gonna have to fight a horrible boss, aren't I? I should've saved first if I knew this would happen. Uh, what the heck is that? Where are you running from? I feel like I'm playing some kind of messed up Dr. Mario thing, I don't know. Uh... Hmm... This could be a prom. So much anger! So much sense of betrayal! What happened to you? It must be someone from the Empire that she was talking about, huh? Okay, this route. Hmm. They're not pulling any punches here, huh? There is a man. You feel sorrow. Is it Zarite? This one's perfectly linear. This one is less linear. Oh no, that one looks really nasty. Oh good, I don't actually have to solve this one. This man, this is your father. This woman, is this the Empress of the Empire? Your father was sent on a mission. You didn't want him to leave. You were so angry. He didn't want to go, but he couldn't disobey the orders of the Empress. It was sent to capture a young Magi woman for the Empress. And he got killed, didn't he? He couldn't bring himself to do it. He knew that the Empire was going down a route that he wanted nothing to be, uh, to be a part of. He returned to the Empress without completing his mission, and got executed. The Empress was furious. She sentenced him to death. That cruel woman forced you to be here. The Empress wanted to make an example of your father. Anybody who would fail her would meet the same fate. Your father didn't struggle. He didn't try to fight his way out of his situation. He stood there, accepting his punishment. He looked over to you one last time. You swore in your life you would somehow avenge your father's death. The anger you feel towards the Empress and the Empire is what fuels you to continue fighting. You won't stop until all remnants of your enemies are eradicated from existence. Don't tell me she was in that forest specifically to uh, fight Imperial soldiers. You've been wandering around since, ever since you left the Empire that day, hoping that one day you'll be afforded the chance to, to get your revenge. I understand. I see why you're so angry. I see why you want to crush the Empire. I see why you want to help the Magi. You want the Empire to pay for what they did to your father. Luna, are you okay? I... I'm sorry. No. I needed that. Thank you, Damien. This building is phenomenal. I'm shocked that I never heard of this place before. Spelled that wrong. I see, this that was just a s simple mini game that you can't really game over on. Good. I'm gonna save in a separate slot just in case though, because this place, I have no idea how to continue the story. And I could very well continue it before talking to everyone, which would suck. Okay, that takes care of you, and... 
items. There are all sorts of different Magi, like Elemental, Holy, Black, Time, and so on. No two Magi types are alike either. For example, some water Magi can turn their water into ice, doubling their efficiency. Oh, it just loops. There's also an achievement for doing this. We're teleporting in the Enclave enough times. What? 30 times! It's easy, but kind of long. Hmm. Check out the item shop, too. No matter how different we are from humans, we still manage to do trade like they do by using gold. Suppose using gold like the humans makes it easier for us to mingle with them when we leave this place. The machine here produces most of our products with a little help of magic. We don't grow our products from the ground like humans do. That would take far too long. The wisdom in the tavern is malfunctioning. Apparently it's spilling random philosophical questions to guests. I better t I didn't talk to everyone in the tavern, huh? We have a very rare and magical item that we sell here, oh, that only we sell here called mana infused shrooms. MP restoratives, I bet. Just suck up on supplies, never know when you might need them. I have some money, so... Let's do it. Please don't be too expensive. You must be the humans I've been hearing about. Welcome to the Enclave, home of the Magi. Thank you. We sell all sorts of goodies here, so please, pay us a visit from time to time. Yes, give me anything I can sell here. Whoa, these are really expensive. And revives all targets. That's really powerful. Ooh, I'm gonna need that. And it gives the MP back, too. Hmm. Oh, this, these blueberries are actually cheaper than in the desert area. Nice. I'll take some. I may need it someday. Another round. Just in, just so I can use Luna's group heal with it. A 40% group heal, essentially. Please come again. Okay, need to go to the bar again. There should be... Your philosophical questions. Let's see it. What is the difference between living and being alive? Does life have a reason or purpose? How do you know your experience of consciousness is the same as other people's experience of consciousness? If blood magic, if a blood magic does it place in the middle of a forest and nobody is around to celebrate, does it even matter? A disciplined mind is your most dependable ally. What's the difference between living and being alive? I see, you're looping now. Okay. She's gone and had herself too much to drink again. The bartender uses water magic to help him make the drinks, in a weird way. In a weird way, so we're sort of drinking a part of him. Ew. Drinking a part of him. Yikes. I hope I'm about to drag her over to the recovery center again. She's kind of heavy. Who dragged me to the recovery center? I don't think I'll be leaving the Enclave anytime soon. Apparently some humans have begun hunting down Magi and KILLING them! We're asked not to leave the Enclave for our own safety, Sai. So Wait a minute. There has to be someone here I can deliver something to. YOU! Can I help you? Why the long face? Is something the matter? It was you! You are the man that I am supposed to give that letter to, Sai. So I'm just a man with a broken heart. This is a long shot, but... Is your name Troy by any chance? How in the world do you know that? This is a lucky guess. We, uh, found this. Luna hands Troy the mysterious letter. This? Where do you find this? In the Mirage Oasis. We found it on the corpse of a lady. I think she got lost in the Oasis trying to find you. When? She came looking for me after all this time. What did she think would happen? It's not like she would have been able to do the incantation to enter. Who was she? We did once, a long time ago. 
She was shunned by her friends and family for being with me. I tried talking her into coming back here to live with me away from judging eyes, but she refused to leave her people. It would seem that this was her fate in the end. I'm so sorry for your loss, Troy. I know what it's like to lose somebody you love because of differences that are beyond your control. Ryudo has a backstory. Thank you for bringing this to me. I will go into the oasis and give her a proper burial. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Troy's necklace. I'll be off now. That was a grim ending. Let's see, where's... Where's the one for side quests? Yes, one more side quest, huh? What's this necklace all about? Max... <laughs> That's not much. You're just gonna stick with my need for speed for now. There's one creation that humans got right, it's alcohol. I'm gonna go behind the counter! I don't think so, lady. Nobody's allowed behind the counter. Blame Shaper. We just ran out. Hey, Luna. Hi, Trish. Okay, so, serious girl talk time. Um, okay. It's about Ryudo. Here we go. I've come to terms with something about him. Go on. We're going to have a beautiful children someday. Well, there, there it is. And if you get in the way of that, I'll just end you. Capiche? Are you seriously threatening me right now? Well, well me? I would never. Either way, as I've said before, he's not even my type, so by all means, have at him. Good. Good. I'm glad you're making this easy for me. Now that we have that nonsense taken care of, I've been meaning to ask you something. Uh, you and your mood killing serious talks. Anyways, what is it? What will the giant mallet to use? That's a weird question to ask. Well, to be honest, you're a pretty small and somewhat fragile looking woman, but you wield those massive weapons as if they're paper. I was actually a competitive lifter back in my home village. I won first place almost every year in the weightlifting competitions. Wow. Are you serious? Piff, no. I used my wind magic to help me carry the mallet, you silly woman. Look at these scrawny little things. Trish rolls up her sleeves and flexes her tiny little biceps. I have a normal and petite feminine body, unlike that staunchy, built like a man, broad shoulder, having booty lacking body that you have. Excuse me? I mean, no offense, girl, but your arms. You have dude arms. Those biceps are huge. Well, she does have to pull her bowstrings. Luna is fuming. You almost give Ryudo a run for his money. If I was in the girls, I'd be all over you, that's for sure. You know, Trish, I only myself to blame for talking to you. That's true, but I don't blame you. I'm pretty much super awesome. Whatever you say, Trish. The amount of energy expanded to maintain this place is extraordinary. Howdy, I'm just here fixing up this busted air conditioner. Maybe wondering, why do Magi need one of these here air conditioners? Well, the answer is simple. It would take too much mana for a Magi to keep all our homes cooled down. The Enclave actually exists in a different plane than the actual world. Supremes created this place with their powerful magics a long time ago. Do you know that most elemental magi can only channel one type of elemental into magic? Wait a minute, but... Trish can use multiple elements. There are some very special elemental magi who can channel multiple or even all the elements. I see, so Trish is a prodigy, huh? Or something. Help partition success rate is accept as an acceptable 83.6%. But what happens if it fails? Teleportation magic requires an immense amount of mana. Messing up at the incantation can literally tear a person to pieces during the teleport. Open the Enclave Portal Chamber. With the usage of powerful time and space magics, we are able to create two-way portals to distant lands. You, may not have been given pro you have not been given proper authorization to use the portals. If you wish to use the portals, 
Please acquire a proper clearance. Wait a minute, is that different from the achie- Is that for the achievement? No, this is de different, I guess. No, I couldn't sneak past him. Please return after getting clearance. Oh well. The Enclave actually exists in a different plane in the actual world. Locked. I should teleport to- Maybe I should use one of those teleports. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Please make yourselves at home. Don't get me human visitors, but we're very excited to have you. Whoa. I come from a family of warbender magi. Legend says that one of my ancestors filled bare lands of this planet with water and created the oceans. Is that a vending machine or something? Huh? I fear for my brothers and sisters who live among the humans. Where do they find peace in the afterlife? They are screwed indeed. We are aimed to protect and serve. You're safe here. Sure, where, sure whatever you say, robot man. I'm just a Magi acolyte, which means I'm pretty much a Magi in training. Once we have full control of our magics, we move past the rank of acolyte. When I was still alive, I accidentally invoked a spell bringing forth a giant earthquake which caused my house to crush me to death. I regret nothing! That was pretty sad. Re reservations required to stay at the hostel. Hostel or hotel? Hmm. Better talk to Ryu though. Please don't have a, like a one-on-one -on -one duel with me or something. I just seriously did not expect Damien's conversation to result in a mini game, of, even if it was an easy one. Hey Luna. Hey. Why is Darius' face? I've been meaning to ask you something for a while now. If you want to go on a real day with me, the answer is yes. No, you moron. I have a question about your past. Oh. That. What do you want to know? My question is, why? Why are you so eager to help the Magi? What's in it for you? The same can be asked of you. That's true. But I asked you first. I... I had a wife and child once. Deep sigh. The Empire took them from me. For you, though. She was the love of my life. Why did the Empire take them from you? Were they Magi? She was a Magi. Oh. It all makes sense now. I'm so sorry, Ryudo. When they found us, they beat me to near death. They snatched her and my child up and left me there to rot. That's where I got all these scars from. Ryudo rolls up his sleeves and opens up the front of his shirt to reveal his scarred body. My goodness. I don't even know what happened to them. I don't know if they're still alive or if the Empire... ...or if the Empire killed them. But I swore on my life that I would get my revenge. Well, Ryudo, you are not alone. Those monsters have hurt all of us, and they will pay. Yes. Even if it kills me, they will pay. I think I might like hanging out here for a while. It's very peaceful and easy to sit back and contemplate on things. Use the teleporter three times! Why are you telling me this? Better save, because I have no idea what advances the story or not at this point. Yeah, saving takes a while in this game. It's like I... What exactly is my bottleneck here? Is it CPU? Do I need to... Maybe I need to get 8 gigahertz? Somehow through liquid nitrogen? Oh, you do have a conversation! Make sure you introduce yourselves. These Magi are all friendly people, but it's not often they have humans running around the sanctuary. Give me your conversation, so I can get an achievement. Hey, Minerva! Hello! How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Why do you ask? 
I just want to check in on you from time to time. Make sure, just to make sure you know, that it is okay. Oh. I see. You're afraid I'm going to lose control of it and hurt somebody, aren't you? I'm more worried that you're going to hurt yourself, if I'm being honest. Look. I know I was very vocal in my thoughts about all this craziness when you first joined us, so I want to offer you an apology. I'm sorry, Minerva. You don't have to apologize for anything, Luna. I totally understand where you're coming from and your doubts about traveling with me. But, I do appreciate your apology and I thank you. You know, when I first laid down that tower, I could feel this deep sense of rage and anger emanating from you. I think what scared me the most is that it reminded me of myself. The Empire really hurt you, didn't they? That's why you're doing all this. That's why you're so adamant about stopping them. The Empire has hurt all of us. And as long as they have a presence in this world, we will never know true peace. I won't stop until they are crushed. You and me both, Luna. I'll catch up with you all later, okay? Make sure you introduce yourselves. Okay? Spirit people! It's not often you see spirits walking about, huh? Certain may I have the ability to remain on this plane of existence, even after death, usually because of unfinished business. I thought spirit magi could also project themselves to talk long distance. I'm here to serve. Welcome, humans. Welcome, humans. We've heard much about you. Don't get many human visitors around here. Sorry, but the Supremes are not to be disturbed. I have a business with Azale. I need to stick this arrow up his ass. Invigorating relic. Uh. Mm, hey, uh, this one actually no, it's bad for him because it's it doesn't increase his attack. Shoot, not worth equipping. This would be better for a mage type, probably. The upper floors are off limits. Well, I went back in to look, but hopefully this does not advance the story and lock me out of everything. I think we visited every place that we could. I, I, I would never thought that the Magi would have such an amazing city hidden away like this. Hello there, human guests. Hello there, spirit. Your friends Elder Jaibo and Minerva await you within the Hall of Supremes. Please make your way there. The Sup Supremes would like to have a word with your party. Sure thing, we'll head over there right away. Wonderful, I'll relay the message. Alright, let's do this. Not yet, I... What does this teleport do? I don't think we should go back to the Mirage Oasis yet. Oh, uh, that's it. Okay, I guess I really did do all I could. But I can't... I can't do anything to... Wait a minute. Friendship free. What? There's still one more? Oh, that's right. I miscounted because there's only four other party members. Luna cannot have a conversation of herself. No talking to yourself, I guess. But the fact that it's I'm a, I'm eight away from 27 means I probably have what have two more rounds of these conversations to go before I can get everything. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Eternal Twilight, please leave a like, subscribe, and or tap the bell icon.